Good morning guys, welcome to Journey with Char on this beautiful Sunday morning, you guys. It is so hot outside already and it is early in the morning. And so I decided to get up and make a refreshing, nice, beautiful summer dessert. And that is the famous banana pudding. So today, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator before I even go to church so that by the time we get out of, out of church and do whatever we need to do, we can come home to a nice, refreshing, cool dessert. Okay, you guys, so all you need for a banana pudding, we have here is the Cool Whip, and this is an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. This is an eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese or whatever type of cream cheese you decide or desire and this is sweetened condensed milk which is also a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk we have here um, this is vanilla which I'm going to be using a tablespoon it requires a teaspoon but I like the taste of vanilla this is an eight what is this five ounce box of instant jello pudding you guys when you do this dessert it is important that you make sure it says instant okay you guys we also have a well, how many ounces is this a an 11 ounce box can you see that anyway it's the Nella, Nella wafers and it's an 11 ounce box here and we also have our bananas you guys so I'm about to get started I need to cut my bananas up and then I'm gonna get started making the vanilla beautiful banana pudding so stay tuned you guys see you soon and happy Father's Day to all you dads out there this banana pudding is dedicated to daddies today because a lot Father's of you guys Day. love banana puddings. Happy Father's Day. Did you hear my mother say Happy Father's Day? She said Happy Father's Day too. Also forgot to mention, we're going to put the banana pudding in this beautiful trifle container here. All right, you guys, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I'm back here. Now we have one um, package of cream cheese in the mixer. So we're going to cream that. Make sure that gets nice and clean. So far, early this morning, I'm sure your little cute little kitty kitties went in and came in and they greeted you with a nice breakfast and gift. You guys deserve it. So those fathers who stay and protect and raise your children, God bless you. Mm -hmm. It is a gift to have babies. Yes. Okay. All right. So we're creaming. We're creaming that creamy. So now that that cream's pretty good, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beat in the sweetened condensed milk. And that's a whole can of sweetened condensed milk that I'm adding to this. You guys, it is so hot outside that the milk literally is almost melted. I had to hurry up this morning. I said, let me hurry up and make this recipe. Cause you know how you have some of your ingredients out? I didn't want my cream cheese to become like syrupy. So I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. Okay, you guys, so that's the cream cheese and the sweetened condensed milk we have here. All right, just wipe that off. And we're gonna add the pudding in here. So that is the pudding. Pudding mixing. This is going to be so good, you guys. Banana pudding is just such a favorite dessert. We just absolutely love it in our family. And I think, and not only in my family, but I believe it is with a lot of families. Okay, so what I have here. Okay, we're going to add the pudding. So what I have here is three cups of cold milk. This is the two cups, so I'm going to pour that in. Pour it in lightly. Give it a little. I'm losing a little bit of my milk can. What is going on? I'm doing it little by little so that I don't 
splash. I do have a splash guard here, but it's somewhere in the kitchen. Okay, so that is two cups that I just put in. And then I'm going to add my last cup of milk here. three cups of milk you guys. Kind of slow this down a little bit just so that I can get around the edges because you know how you have to get around the edges to get the con the little bit that went. See it's a lot of that cream cheese down there. So we want to make sure everything is blended well. Kind of smash it a little bit. That's what I would require you guys. See that cream cheese right there? Yeah. We got to make sure that is blended well. Okay. None of that. All right. So I'm going back down. And I'm going to let this continue to melt. Okay, you guys. So that is me. Almost forgot you guys, how could I forget the vanilla? So we're gonna do one two tablespoon of vanilla. We're gonna add that in here. Yumminess. Okay, so this soon, soon should be done. All right, make sure that's nice and blended. Everything's okay. And now what we're going to do, we're going to remove this. Put that to a side. Let's remove the ball. We're going to make sure we got all this incorporated nicely. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take that Cool Whip. We're going to take the Cool Whip. And we're gonna fold this in. And this is what's gonna give it this nice stiffness. Okay, you guys. You see some of that cream cheese? That cream cheese is making me mad today. As hot as it is, it don't want to cooperate. We don't want nobody having a big chunk of cream cheese in their mouth. So let me make sure I smash this, y'all. I'm not playing. That cream cheese is giving me a challenge today. Okay, you better stop. This is not a cheesecake. This is a banana pudding. All right, everything looks good to me, you guys. So I'm gonna fold this before it melts, because it's 100 and probably, what, three degrees a day? It's already at 90 something this morning, you guys. It is so hot. Thank God, the church. So you see this? We're gonna fold this until it's nicely incorporated. You don't wanna mix it too much. You just wanna fold it. Okay. Go down, scoop, bring around. Down, scoop, bring around. So we're gonna down, down, scoop, bring around. That's all incorporating nicely. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this to a side because I don't like to cut my bananas too early because I don't like them to brown. Okay, so I'm going to set this to a side. I'm going to cut my bananas up, you guys, and then I'll be back. Just want to make sure I get all that in water. All right, see you soon. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, I've already started my layering, and I put down the cookies first, and I turned them upside down this way. My grandmother used to do it that way instead of this way. So, and these are the bananas, and I'm about to start layering the pudding. We layer this and I want to make sure that I spread it around nice and neatly. Get enough going around everywhere. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to layer maybe about two more because I don't want to bore you guys. I'm trying to learn how to do that speed. Okay. Well, we can move real fast through this. All right, so let's put that 
Mmm, this is gonna be so good. I can already tell. Usually I put, um, sometimes I put lemon on my bananas because I want them to, um, I want them to, uh, not change. But sometimes that can make the banana a little slimy. And I didn't like that texture the last time I tried it. And so I don't do that. But some people do if you don't want your bananas to turn. Because you know bananas age very quickly. And if anybody ever tell you you age like a banana, that's a problem. But anyway, <laughs> that's just a little joke. Um, so I'm going to just layer these in so you can see how I'm doing that. You guys. It looks so yummy. And these organic bananas are just so... Let's put one more right there on top of that one. I wonder where the father's eating today. Yeah, what did you, you guys, what did, what what restaurants are you taking the dads to today? What what did you cook? What special meal did you cook? What's their favorite meal? What's their favorite things to do? If you want to share, go ahead. All right. So we're going to put another layer of cream here, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be so good. And I want to do where there's some cookies on the side. I've seen some people do it that way. I'm going to try to see if I can incorporate that. Okay, so you guys, when I finish this up, I'm going to come back and let you see the finished product, okay? All right. Okay, you guys, so this is the complete finished product of the banana pudding. Sorry, I got a little... Lots of words there because I'm feeling the heat already from this window. Anyway, I did add another extra um, layer of pudding and some cookies on top just to fill it all the way up to the top. And I also put some whipped cream. And that is this whipping cream. Whipped cream on top. And that's the finished product. And I hope you guys like it. I did that. Uh, add that on top, okay? This is what it looks like on the sides. Very pretty. All right, you guys, so I hope you have a lovely Father's Day um, and you guys have a beautiful Sunday. Also, stay cool. And if you like my vlogs, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe and also leave me a message. I love hearing from you guys. Okay, and so there we go, banana pudding. And I'm going to link the recipe below so you guys can have the recipe also. And this is one that you don't have to cook over the stove nor put in the oven. It's quick and simple and it's refreshing and it's something that'll keep you cool on these hot summer days, you guys. So be blessed and remember, keep God first. Always trust him where he's leading you and he'll always direct you on the right pathway. God bless and you guys have a beautiful Sunday. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Journey with Char.